We over here at TDH love a good sedan. Understated looks, loads of power and great practicality enough to pack your whole family and your entire wardrobe for the weekend. A good sedan is a great option for the Indian petrol head. We have featured the Octavia VRS 230 on this channel a lot of times and we think it might be one of the most complete packages ever to be sold in India in terms of pricing, power and practicality. But Skoda has gotten out an even meaner version of the Mark 3.5 VRS. This is the VRS 245. Stock this car comes with, as the name suggests, 245 horsepower and 370 newton meters of torque, which is more than enough to make your passengers feel uneasy if that's all you want to do. This particular VRS 245 is different though. With a stage to remap and a huge list of mods, this Skoda pushes out 350 horsepower and 570 newton meters of torque. While it might look like a car that should blend into the crowd very easily, especially in this black color, it definitely does not sound like anything else on the road. In fact, if you can't see it coming, you will most definitely hear it coming. Before we get into the plethora of mods that this car has gone through, let's talk about the key differences between a 230 and a 245 VRS. So both cars get the same 2.0-litre TSI engine, but this thing has some very important upgrades. It gets a revised camshaft, software upgrades and a newer turbo just for good measure. It also gets bigger brakes, a VAQ differential which increases the grip by a massive margin and a brand new gearbox which is the DQ381 which you find in the Golf GTI and the Golf R. And it has 7 speeds compared to the uh, VRS 230's 6 speeds. Now let's get into the meat and potatoes, the modifications. The catalytic converter has been replaced with a Miltec DCAT, which apart from bumping up the power figures and letting the engine breathe better, gives the exhaust note a little bit more of a rasp. The turbo has a muffler delete and a new inlet pipe, which apart from making the turbo spool noise more prominent, helps deliver more air to the turbo. Combine that to the integrated engineering intercooler that keeps intake air temperatures nice and cool and also helps the turbo produce more boost consistently. The air intake is a stock Skoda air intake but has been upgraded with pikey mods like an OEM block of plate and a replacement air filter from Racing Line. Add a stage to tune from eTuners India and once this thing hits boost, it smashes your head into the headrest. In fact, a cool test the guys at Mechanics Auto did, the people who built this car, said that it can go from 100 to 200 km an hour in under 11.5 seconds. The VRS has a sense of modernity to it, which is inspired by the intricate glasswork that the Czech Republic is famous for, and it still has the classic notchback design. In this black colour especially, this car blends into any scenario and looks very sleeper. And even the rims, even though they're upgraded, these Sparco rims look very OEM plus and you would not notice this car unless and until you hear it. I've driven quite a lot of Octavias and Lauras over the past few years. I've driven a Mark 1 BRS, I've driven a 300 plus horsepower 1.8 TSI Laura, I've driven a Stage 1, Stage 2 stock VRS 230, almost anything you can think of in the Octavia Laura range. Off the bat, this thing does not seem that different to those cars. It seems pretty normal, it's very sedate when you're going slowly. Uh, and the driving experience is not that different to a 230 until you go around a corner. This thing has an electronic LSD. Once you go around a corner, you can instantly feel the difference in grip. And this thing just grips and goes, whereas in the 230, it's just a continuous fight between grip and tyre squeal. Whereas in this, the LSD finds the optimum amount of uh, power you need, distributes it perfectly and you just shoot around the corner. It's totally, totally insane and mind-blowing. Pair that to the fact that this car has quite a lot of suspension mods. I'm going to display them on the screen. Stuff like coilover upgrades, lower bush arm upgrades, anti-roll bar upgrades. This thing just handles like a totally different car compared to a 230. And then... Of course, you have 350 horsepower and 570 newton meters of torque at your disposal, at your right foot. And that throttle pedal is just addictive. 
there are a few downsides though i mean the suspension is quite stiff you can feel everything but it's not unsettling in that sense you can totally daily this car uh, the steering does not have feedback it's not very communicative it's very direct but there is no sort of understanding of what's going on down there at the tires the gearbox also is a great upgrade over the vrs 230s one the 381 is super responsive the paddles click up and down previous next gear no problem at all it instantly understands the business with so much power and so much torque even with the lsd and traction control this stage 2 example struggles to put the power down in first and second gear which is kind of a letdown because the true potential of this build cannot be extracted in the tight city streets but on the highway we cannot imagine how fast and potent this thing must be anything below proper high performance cars like the m5s and m3s will get absolutely destroyed in a highway pull against this again this thing can accelerate from 0 to 100 kmph in about 5 seconds and 100 to 200 kilometers an hour in around 11 seconds this just solidifies the importance of the octavia and the vrs badge in our indian car culture it has always represented a level of performance where you don't need to pay the big bucks to get the good stuff although this 245 isn't the best example of that ideology but still skoda india has managed to sell all of the 200 cbu units in india which says something about the car itself thank you so much for watching this video do check out mechanics automotive the people who built this car they have an amazing garage and they have tie ups with some amazing tuner brands If you're in Pune and you're looking to get your car serviced, uh, repainted, any sort of body work, do check out Mechanics Auto. Follow us on Instagram. We're trying to get to 5000 followers as soon as possible and of course subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.